welcome back so in this video we'll continue with our journey for adjectives let us see the comparison in the picture we can see three animals this is a big elephant here I say this is bigger than the previous ones and this is the biggest among all the three so what I'm doing over here is comparison of the three animals if I say Tina is smarter than Abhishek so the word smart is actually the adjective of Tina or adjective of Abhishek. So I'm comparing them using the word smarter. Tina is smarter than Abhishek. And when I want to compare her with whole class, I see Tina is the smartest girl in the class. Okay. So I have many more, most, bad, worse, worse. These kind of words are used for comparison. But if I say the sentence, Tina is more shorter than Rina, this is completely wrong. What I should say is Tina is shorter than Rina. I cannot use the word more with short. Tina is more shortest in girl in the class is again wrong. I, I'll have to say Tina is shortest girl in the class. I cannot use most because I'm using shortest. Okay, But I can truly say Tina is most beautiful girl in the class. Okay, She is the most beautiful girl in the class. I'm comparing her with all the class. So here most beautiful is allowed. Okay. So this you will come to know through practice. Here I have three degrees positive, competitive and superlative. He is a bad boy. He is worse than than Ishan. And I say he is worst among all the boys in his class. This it is a difficult situation. It is more difficult than previous situation we are facing now. And this is the most difficult situation I have ever seen in the decade. Okay. I'm confused. I'm more confused than you. You are. I'm the most confused person in my family. Okay. So I'm comparing me with whole family. So I say I'm most confused among all. Big. It is a big house. It is bigger than our house and it is the biggest house in the town. Okay. Expensive. My watch is expensive. My watch is more expensive than yours. My watch is the most expensive watch in our family. Nice, nicer, nicer. Similarly, you can use these words. Much, more, most. Okay. So here I have diagrammatic comparison. Okay. So Rudy is a tall boy, Roni is taller than Rudy and finally I say Robbie is tallest among the three boys. Okay, so that is so easy, right? So further I can say a man's character may be learned from the adjectives which he habitually uses in conversation. And I believe after this video you will be using good adjectives in your conversation. So, so here. We have described few senses, okay, few adjectives with respect to different senses. Fine. We have touch, taste, hear, smell, sight, these senses are there, right? Few we have covered in previous video, few we will be seeing here. So it is taste. So initially I have spicy. What do you mean by spicy? Spicy means tikha in Hindi. The spicy curry smells good. Mom has cooked quite spicy curry. Okay. Next you have sweet. Sweet is known to everybody. Sour. Sour means khatta. Okay. For example, you can say that these water balls, uh, you can use tart word to describe these water balls. Okay. Or sour words to describe these water balls. Tart actually means sour and spicy. Okay. So I love to eat sour water balls. Or I can say the tart water balls are s smelling quite savory okay so you can use these words so tart means uh, sour as well as spicy fine then you have the word juicy i love juicy fruits okay bitter bitter means pungent okay or you can call them as sarcastic or crabby also okay so those bitter goods are quite bitter right so you can use uh, the bitter word to describe the bitter gods or pungent word to describe bitter gods. Fine. So I can say um, I don't like to eat bitter goods. Okay. Or I don't like to eat uh, bitter goods as they taste 
एंड दे हैव पंजन टेस्ट ठीक है सो आई एम डिस्क्राइबिंग दैट टेस्ट टू बी पंजन नेक्स्ट इज ब्लांड ब्लांड स्टैंड फॉर स्मूथ ठीक है स्मूथ और टेंडर माई मॉम मेक्स वेरी ब्लांड चपातीज ओके टेंडर चपातीज सैवरी सैवरी स्टैंड फॉर लाइकेबल और फेवरेट ठीक है सो आई आई जस्ट स्टेटेड अ सेंटेंस लाइक द टार्ट वॉटर बॉल्स आर स्मेलिंग क्वाइट सेवरी सो वो देर आई से दैट दोज वॉटर बॉल्स आर वेरी वेरी टेस्टी और लाइकेबल माई फेवरेट ओके और आई कैन से माई मॉम कुक्स सेवरी फूड फॉर मी ओके सो शी कुड्स कुक्स द फूड विच आई लाइक विच इज माई फेवरेट फ्रैगनेंट वर्ड ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज राइट फ्रैगनेंट और नोजी माई मॉम हैज कुकड अ नोजी करी और नोजी फूड ओके इट्स अ फूड बिकॉज ऑफ विच आई एम फीलिंग टू इट माउथ वॉटरिंग डिशेस ओके सो डिशेज आर देर हाउ आर दे दे आर माउथ वॉटरिंग ओके और डेलीशियस फाइन द नेक्स्ट आई हैव टच योर आई से सॉफ्ट हार्ड हॉट दीज आर सम सिंपल लाइक सॉफ्ट पाम्स सॉफ्ट पाम्स ओके बेबी किड्स पाम्स वी कैन डिस्क्राइब यूजिंग सॉफ्ट पाम्स हार्ड पाम्स ओके हॉट ओके दीज वर्ड आर यूज टू डिस्क्राइब टच रफ इज देर ब्रिस्ली ब्रिस्ली मीन्स प्रिकली और थॉनी ओके सो यू कैन से हिज पाम्स ही हैज ब्रिस्ली पाम्स बिकॉज ही ऑलवेज वर्क इन टू केमिकल्स ओके नेक्स्ट इज स्टिकी और यू यू कैन ऑल्सो से समवंस फीट आर लाइक दे आर ब्रिस्ली सो यू हैव ब्रिस्ली फीट यू प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ देम एंड ट्राई टू मेक देम टेंडर ओके नेक्स्ट इज स्टिकी शार्प Scratchy, scratchy means again rough or raspy. You have scratchy feet. Take care of it. Okay. So these words you can use to describe touch. For size, you can see these obese kids are sitting here. These are obese. This person is obese, right? Next is uh, what do you mean by obese? Obese are overweighted people. Next is chubby. Chubby are very cute little kids. They are having chubby cheeks, so they are uh, called as chubby. Chubby kid. Gigantic or massive. I have a massive house. Okay, these two words are used to describe bigger, bigger in size. Tiny, tiny means a small, uh, very small. Okay, the so next I have skinny. So, what do you mean by skinny? Skinny means unattractively thin. Okay, she is a skinny girl. Okay, she is unattractively thin. Next is gaunt. Gaunt is used to describe a person, a weak person or a lean person who has turned because, uh, because of suffering a hunger. Okay, because of suffering or because of hunger. So I can say a tall, gaunt lady in black had come yesterday for begging. Okay. Alluring. Alluring is something which is appealing, right? Charming or magnetic or gorgeous. Okay. You have alluring kid. Okay. You have charming kid. Next is stunning. Stunning is something very attractive again. Don't give me stunning looks. Okay. Uh, tempting. Tempting is again the the word you, which you can use for attractive. or luring is also the same you can use for attractive okay so you can say uh, she came in tempting get up okay so you can use this word to describe size so already we have seen these adjectives where we have you uh, in our previous video okay uh, different adjectives to describe emotions sound okay color situation people we'll just see a few for smell Like I can say, mine, uh, mine is an airy home. So how is my home airy? Okay, I can smell a lot of air over there. Fine. Liquid has flowery smell. Okay, so you can use flowery smell to describe liquid. Then uh, you can use different words. For example, to describe unpleasant smell, you can use reek. Okay, odor. Odor means a uh, strong smell. Okay, delicate. Delicate word is also used to describe smell. Okay, the other word, other name for smell is aroma. So I can say do uh, this do has masculine aroma, light. Or you can also say this do has this perfume has light aroma. Okay, lime. Okay, all these flavors also you can put into the smell. Uh, you you can use as an adjective for smelling. Okay, finally I would like to conclude the session with the very good thought given by Abdul Kalam, Doctor Abdul Kalam, as If you fail, never give up, because fail stands for first attempt in learning. End is not the end. In fact, end means effort never dies. If you get no as an answer, remember, no stands for 
no means next opportunity okay so let us take this uh, lecture as next opportunity okay this video as next opportunity and try to learn English with me so it's time for assignment thank you for now